Hello, and welcome to Music for a Sunday Afternoon, the concert series sponsored by the Topeka and Shawnee County Public Library. We are Tullamore, or the Big Hill as they say in Irish. Uh, we're coming to you from the upper cellar of O'Malley's Irish Pub, literally the coolest pub in the nation, down in the lagering cellars beneath the old Weston Brewing Company in Weston, Missouri. <laughs> Uh, we are now in our 25th year of performing across the country and across the Atlantic, and it is our pleasure and privilege to be performing for you today. So uh, our first song is called Sullivan's John. It's our traditional opener. The song was written by Pecker Dunn, or it was collected and turned into a formalized arrangement by Pecker Dunn. Um, he was a singer and songwriter born in Castle Bar in the 1930s, and he died about 10 years ago. Um, Song comes from a family of traveling folk, and it's about the traveling folk, and uh, uh, it's about John Sullivan, who is the son of a wealthy North Cork farmer who forsook all of his family riches and went on the road with a traveling girl who won his heart. Uh, the tune that we're going to play at the beginning and at the end is a piece that I wrote about 20 years ago called Trip to Erin. Sullivan's John, to the road you've gone far away from your native home. You've gone with the tinker's daughter far along the road you roam. Sullivan's John, you want to get long till your belly will soon grow slack. And you'll traipse in the road with a mighty load and the toolbox on your back. I met Katie Copine with her neat baby behind on her back, strapped on. And in her hand, an old ash plant for to beat the donkey on. Inquiring at every poor farmer's door as along the road they ran. Well, now, where could they find an old pot to mend? And where could they swap an ass? There's a hairy ass there in the county Clare in a place they call Spansel Hill. Where my brother Jane got a rap from a hay with poor Patty they tried to kill. They loaded him into an old ass and cart while Big Kate and Mary looked on. Well, bad cess to the day that I went away to join with the Tinker. in the road with a mighty load and the toolbox on your back.
Thanks, Casey. Thank you so much. All right, our next song is a song called Welcome Poor Patty Home. It's a traditional Irish emigration song. Irish emigration songs fit into three different categories. Uh, one is the so long we're heading off to the Americas or Australia and we're leaving, sayonara. And um, these would be songs like uh, The Shores of America or Goodbye, Mersheen Durkin. And there's plenty of songs like that because it happened all the time. And then the next smaller genre is the genre of the homesick immigrant. And um, there's a fairly decent number of songs like these. These would be songs like um, From Claire to Here or Spansel Hill. And they tell the story of you know, the immigrant looking back fondly homesick at the country that he left behind, behind him. And then um, the last kind of song, the, the genre, is the song that is the immigrant's return. And there are not many songs like this because it was something that happened so seldom. Um, it happened so seldom that the Irish would have what they called an American wake for the people that were traveling to the Americas because they pretty much never expected they would see them again. So Mike's going to sing this for you. Welcome poor Patty home. <clears throat> I am a true born Irish man. I'll never deny what I am. I was born in old Tipperary town, 3,000 miles away. Hooray, boys, hooray. The more do I wish for to roll. The sun it will shine in the harvest time for to welcome poor Patty home. Now the girls they are young and they're frisky. They'll take you by the hand. Saint Johnny McCree, won't you come home with me? Or to welcome a stranger home. Hooray, boys, hooray. No more do I wish for to roam. The sun it will shine in the harvest time. Or to welcome poor Patty home. Then came the faraway strangers they settled all over the land the horse and the plow the colt and the sow fell into the stranger's hands hooray boys hooray no more do i wish for to go the sun it will shine in the harvest time for to welcome poor patty home to welcome poor Patty boast of the thistle, the Englishman boast of the rose, but Paddy can boast of the Emerald Isle, where the dear little shamrock goes. Hooray, boys, hooray, no more do I wish for to roam, the sun it'll shine in the harvest time, for to welcome poor Paddy home. Hooray, boys, hooray, no more do I wish for to roam. The sun, it'll shine in the harvest time, for to welcome poor Patty home. For to welcome poor Patty home. For 
Father, welcome poor Patty Hall. Thank you so much. All right, the next song that we'd like to do for you is a song called The Work of the Weavers. It's a traditional uh, Scottish song, very well-loved, well-known. The song was written in the 1840s by a weaver from Forfar named David Shaw. Not y'all's sound guy, David Shaw. Very different guy. The song shows a... Um, working man's awareness of his worth and it shows the uh, position that weavers held in the industrial revolution age of scotland we're going to play a tune at the beginning and at the end called the black run this was a uh, hornpipe that was written by john higgins from the kansas city st andrews pipes and drums and uh the name the black run comes from the midnight drive that they would make across western Kansas on their way to the Golden Colorado Highland Games. And for those of you who have driven across Kansas in the middle of the night, western Kansas, may God have mercy on your souls. Here we go, ready? Six, seven, Okay. 
we can they went to work for the weaver. If it was the father weaver. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, the next song that we'd like to do for you is a really lovely Scottish song called I'll Meet You on the Lee Rig. Uh, this kind of started out as a fragment, and Robert Burns got his hand on it and did all sorts of uh, beautiful finagling of it. <laughs> no pun intended. And uh, we ended up, and ended up with the song that we're about to sing for you now. Um, it's one of the most beautiful songs that uh, Robert Burns ever wrote, um, and he's responsible for about seven and a half hundred pieces of published songs, poems. Uh, he actually didn't think that he did that great of a job with it and said so to his publisher. His publisher's like, you're out of your mind. Um, and Rachel's going to sing it for you, so here we go. Ready? Thank you. 
The next song that we'd like to do for you is a song called Lighthouse. In addition to being a studio engineer and having recorded our last four uh, CDs, George Hunt is a guitarist, a singer-songwriter, a former musical blade, a devoted husband, and a very, very devoted father. He wrote the song in 2008. It was a uh, pay-in to um, the ideal woman a conjuring of her, he said, and he ended up marrying her. So here you go. Mike's going to sing this song for you, and we're going to sing behind him. <laughs> uh, or next to him. Our next song. Lighthouse. Ready? If there's only one reason I am not afraid When the winds blow high and seas grow dark She's a tiny reason with her hair in braids Manning her lighthouse off the cock She is the better part of me And she leads me to ground She's up in her lighthouse, just guiding me home. I was lost, now I'm found. She's up in her lighthouse, just guiding me home. Not church on Sunday, and she never buys, but still prays for me out at sea. Like she's magic when she reads my mind The kind of girl that all the girls should be She is the better part of me And she leads me to ground She's up in her lighthouse Just guiding me home I was lost, now I'm found She's up in her lighthouse just guiding me home When I hadn't a penny She would buy my lunch Sing me a shanty as I ate When I make my millions I won't buy her pearls She would totally think it were a waste She is the better part of me and she leads me to ground She's up in her lighthouse Just guiding me home I was lost, now I'm found She's up in her lighthouse 
just guiding me home. Only one reason I am not afraid When the skies get dark and seas grow high She's a tiny reason with her hair in braids Man in her lighthouse through my night She is the better part of me And she leads me to ground She's up in her lighthouse up in her lighthouse, just guiding me home. She is the better part of me, and she leads me to ground. She's up in her lighthouse, just guiding me home. I was lost, now I'm found. She's up in her Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, so the next song that we'd like to do for you is a song called Patty's Lamentation. And Patty's Lamentation is another one of those um, Irish immigration songs that um, is a uh, tip of the hat to the 200,000 Irishmen that came to the United States um, in a search of citizenship uh, for fighting for either the Union or the uh, Confederate armies. Uh, we learned this song from a really good friend of ours by the name of Sanford Lee, who we met out at the Kansas City Renaissance Festival way back before dirt. And uh, from the Renaissance Festival, our paths diverged. We went into playing for Irish and Scottish festivals and doing tours of Ireland and Scotland. And Sandy crafted a persona by the name of Barnswallow T. Farquhar, and who is equal parts um, minstrel and... Um, Press the digitator and um, snake oil medicine show huckster, and he took this character around to uh, s s state and county fairs throughout the Midwest, Mississippi River days, um, to great success and setting music back 150 years. <laughs> um, this was one of his favorites, so in the great folk method, we stole it from him. <laughs> Uh, it's also one of Mary's favorites, so she's going to sing it for you. And I got it right this time. <laughs> um, we're going to play a tune at the beginning. It's called The Full Rigged Ship. And it sounds like this.
So here's you boys, take my advice. To a Mary Kay, I'll have you now be fair. There is nothing here but war, where the murdering cannons roar. And I wish I was at home in dear old Erin. next song that we'd like to do for you is um, probably one of the most um, well-known and well-loved Irish songs ever uh, written by an English guy. Who are we? Um, <laughs> the, song, the song is called Danny Boy. And uh, the song was written by uh, an English barrister and an um, amateur uh, songwriter. He has about 1,500 lyrics to his credit. And he wrote this song in 1910 and um, the song went nowhere. And then in 1911, um, a, um, an Australian composer named Percy Granger wrote an arrangement of a melody, Air from the County Derry, and you may know this as the London Derry Air. <laughs> the London Derry Air, not London Derry Air. The London Derry Air, and um, after receiving the sheet music for it, he pretty much realized that this music would fit perfectly the lyrics that he wrote for the song, and um, and he put the two together, and it uh, became an instant hit, as 
instant as you can imagine, a song becoming a hit in 1911. That's right. And um, and uh, that's the story of how an English fellow wrote one of the most well-loved Irish songs in the history of music. The pipes, the pipes are calling from glen to glen and down the mountainside. The summer's gone and all the flowers are dying. It's you, it's you. Must go and I must die. But come ye back when summer's in the meadow, or when the valley's hushed and white with snow. It's I'll be here. Sunshine or in shadow. Oh, Danny boy, oh, Danny boy, I love you so.
No, oh, thanks. Thank you so much.
Thank you. Thank you so much. Next song we'd like to do for you is a song called One of Ireland's Children. This song was written by Eddie Delahunt, a Dublin-born, Dublin-bred singer-songwriter. Uh, served in the Irish Merchant Marines, came to the United States about 1993 or 94. Came out to Kansas City, first started playing at Cummings Irish Restaurant and Pub down on um, Warnall on 87th. And that's where Frank Blair and I met him. Um, and he kind of moved on to Harlings Upstairs and O'Dowd's on the Plaza. Um, up, came up to O'Malley's in 94, maybe. And um, Frank and I became fixtures here, coming up to every Saturday to see Eddie play. He was that good. You could sit through his show over and over again. Um, he wrote this song while visiting some Irish friends in London in the mid 80s. and. He said that he was out walking around in the blue collar neighborhoods and where a lot of uh, unemployment had happened and left a, a lot of Irishmen destitute. He said uh, he calls this his Irish blues song. Got no money, there's no work to be found On an empty belly, he's been sleeping rough He caught a chill, can't shake it off To be home again, he's dreamed so long But his home and all his people are gone Though a lonely man, he'll fight the tears Still a stranger here After all of these years he says, I remember my childhood, green fields and the wild wood, running free like a river. One of Ireland's children took the boat in 51 in search of work like everyone. England's chosen one Well the years went by and the Irish boys came back with what they found Patty kept on searching through the streets of London town. For Patty's been told there's streets paved with gold in London. For Patty's been told there's streets paved with gold in London. Town. Got no money, there's no work going round. On an empty belly, he's been sleeping rough. He got a chill, he can't shake it off. He got a chill, he can't shake it off. He got a chill, he couldn't shake it off. Ah, Thank thanks, you. thanks, thanks. Thank you so much. The next song we'd like to do for you is a modern Scottish song called Caledonia. This song was written by Do Doogie McLean, a uh, singer-songwriter from Dunblane. He wrote the song about 45 years ago. Um, you can think of it as somewhat of, a, of an anthem for Scotland. Um, and... Uh, the song was used by Visit Scotland. It used to be the Scottish Tourism Bureau. And uh, they used this 
uh, for the 250th anniversary of the birth of Robert Burns, uh, they had what they called Homecoming Scotland in 2009. And, and there were actually a lot of videos that went around on the internet showing all sorts of people singing uh, Caledonia, all sorts of stars and athletes. Uh, Sean Connery was in one of them. He didn't sing. He just spoke his lines. It was very cute. William Shatner style. Uh, so Mary's going <laughs> to sing this song for you. Caledonia. Ready? Thank you so much. Oh, thanks, thanks, thanks. The next song that we'd like to do for you is a song called Spansel Hill. This is another Irish immigration song. There's tons of them. 
And uh, this song was written um, by Michael Considine, an Irishman who left Spansel Hill in 1850, came to the United States, came to Boston and was there till about 1870, and then moved out to California and he lived for three more years and passed away, 23. Uh, he wrote this song about six months before he, he died. It's a beautiful song, one of those looking back wistfully uh, songs and um, and it, it was very long it was probably uh, 11 or 12 verses of which we will do 10 or 11 and I'm kidding we'll do about 7 of them and Mike's going to sing this for you
Thank you so much. Oh, thanks. Arthur McBride is a traditional Irish anti-recruitment song. Um, it's not, it doesn't really fit into the genre of most, most anti-recruitment songs, and these are songs like Johnny I Hardly Knew Ya, and the sentiment of these songs is um, no. Don't listen to that recruiting sergeant because for the king's shilling that they promise you, they will send you straight to the front lines of the war and you'll be treated like cannon fodder and you'll come home without an arm or without your legs or without an eye and they'll have to sit you in the streets with a bowl to beg. Don't do that. Or to play accordion. <laughs> Arth McBride is a proactive anti-recruitment song. The, the sentiment of the song is, hey, Let's find that uh, recruiting sergeant and his little drummer boy pal. And uh, younger audiences might be um, too tender for those scenes. Anyway, um, we're going to play a tune at the beginning. Um, it's a, a, a reel called Andy Rennick's Ferret that we're going to play like a hornpipe because we can. And uh, the tune at the end is a Scottish air called The Fisherman's Song for Attracting Seals. And um, we're going to play that like a jig because we can't. And word is that, that like, if you really want to attract seals, pick up a penny whistle and go play that song because it works. Ready? Five, six...
Now, in October of 2003, I think it was, we had the um, pleasure of meeting um, Deanna Smith Scotland and her band Jiggernaut, which, by the way, if you ever get the chance to see Jiggernaut play live, you should do it. They're a really, really great group of people. Uh, we met them right here in Weston at the Weston Irish Festival. And... Um, <laughs> We became really great and fast friends, and in addition to being their lead singer, um, Deanna is a singer and songwriter, and she wrote this original song, Absent Friends, um, really beautiful song, and it's become a touchstone in the Dallas-Fort Worth Celtic community, and really the, the greater Texas Celtic community. We've had a couple of occasions to sing, sing this song at the passing of a C couple people who are really close to the band and while it's really a very highly personal song for us we decided to 
add it to our repertoire and it was the first song that we chose to record on our most recent CD um, as, an, as an acknowledgement of how fleet life is and the um, the uh, how special the company that we keep uh, in life so uh, we'd like to dedicate the song to Deanna and to all the people who are no longer with us in the past year. Ready? Save home, my friend. Fare thee well. Where this road will lead us, only time can tell. But we'll travel on together just for a little while. And when it's time to part, I'll leave you with a smile. When there's music in the corner and laughter on the air, we will meet. Love and friendship, sure your spirit will be there. So we'll open up a bottle and leave the angels share. And remember, absent friends. Heart strings tied with soft silken cord. A luxury that no man can afford. Your memories are my treasures, I'll keep them all my days. You have changed me in a thousand little ways. When there's music in the corner and laughter on the air, we will be love and friendship, sure your spirit will be there. So we'll open up a bottle and leave the angels share. And remember us and song is a song called Step It Out Mary. The song was written in 1959 by Sean McCarthy, a Listowel County carry man. The song is about an arranged marriage gone horribly wrong. Da, da, da. 
And this is actually one of the very first songs in our songbook, and we loved it. It's hard to put down a good song. Mary's going to sing this for you, and we're going to back her up. Here we go. Ready? Before we do our last song, we'd like to give a big thank you to James Mosher and the Topeka and Shawnee County Public Library for their gracious invitation to perform some music for a Sunday afternoon for y'all. We hope that you've had as much fun listening to us as we've had performing for you. And now we're going to do our last song. This song is called Will You Go Lassie? And uh, this is a traditional Scottish song, a very well-known, well-loved song probably one of the most overdone songs in the history of Scottish music and we're going to contribute to that right now. Um, the song comes from uh, the song The Braes of Balwither uh, which was written by Robert Tannehill, the weaver bard of Paisley. And um, it was revived in the early 1950s by Francis McPeak and popularized by the McPeak family, an Irish family. Ready? 
six.
big, you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, guys.